Green Taylor Green will have us all in handcuffs. I've never worked for John, so I can't talk about what a kind and generous uh, boss or how brilliant he was in the room. But um, so I have to go with what I know. And what I know is that, John, when you wear your tiny sweaters, you look like Stuart Little. <laughs> this is a big deal. John doesn't go out much. Um, I wouldn't say he's a shut in, but his office at home on the shelf behind his desk, there are more uh, jars of urine than Emmys. <laughs> And he has a lot of Emmys. I think he has all of the Emmys there are. In fact, John, they don't want me to tell you, but this award uh, tonight, they didn't make a, a new trophy. We're giving you Bill Cosby's old one. <laughs> it's better for your beloved environment. Before John, we had no idea you could make a TV show where you played clips of another TV show and then said, boy, that other TV show sucked. <laughs> John took on Fox News every night. He exposed their hypocrisy, their cynicism, their lies. And thanks to his heroic work, they were never heard from again. <laughs> I've known John since 1995, back in the days when John would wear a leather jacket to, uh, to get his headshot. This was his headshot. He uh, looks like an even more Jewish Fonzie. This is... <laughs> Sylvester Shalom, if you will. Um, and I hesitate to share this because it doesn't reflect well on me. But I'm going to do it for Gilbert Gottfried because I, I know he wouldn't hesitate to share this story. So when John was doing The Daily Show on Comedy Central, I was doing The Man Show on Comedy Central. Please don't tell anyone. Um, <laughs> We'll keep that between us. But we're doing the man show, and for a while, John's show came on right after ours on Wednesday nights. And I had this idea. And again, I'm not proud of this, all right? So, but at the time, I thought it was a really good idea. I was with John in New York, and I said, what I want to do is fart into a Ziploc bag <laughs> and mail it to you to open on your show. So at the end of our show, as we were saying our good nights, my plan was I would fart into the bag sandwich size and put it in a box and mail it to john in new york and then john the thought was would open it and see if there was still anything in the bag to teach people about science you know but john very nicely said no i'm not gonna do that and that is why john stewart is getting the mark twain prize and i'm not <laughs>